Christine just making a little video of my day. Christine and Alicia are here. It's close to my heart. <laughs> do you have like a secret hand clap or handshake you want to do for everyone? No. No? Okay. I'm just trying to make it through the day. <laughs> well, it's good to see some friends here. Now we have our peas. And so on the flip side, see how the, wow. the lines show up? The vines are showing up nice. nicely there. Yeah. And so we can just continue doing that in applying. Now this is going to be a kind of a small area here, but we're going to take the snappy tray, which is a nice collapsible tray that this comes in a couple different sizes, and we're going to sprinkle that on top. And make sure we coat it. We can shake off the excess. And if I press something behind it, it would make it even more apparent. But you can see like some of the sparkles coming through oh, yeah. there. See how that sparkles are coming through mm -hmm. and so on. So this is just with lighter colors, bigger scale, but you get the same effect that you can see on there. Was there more eraser? I'm just going to make an inch and a half uh, strip out of this. And for some reason, I'm not wearing glasses today. Don't know why. I can't see real well, so I have no idea. I don't know what I did with them, but I'm doing it without glasses. The pen light was cool because you can open it up and then you just push this little button here and it goes back in, so it's very, it's very safe. All right, so now let's take this piece, and now all of a sudden, it's not so garish. And so if I was to use this here, the colors all match. Let's take some... Here. Hi, I'm Lisa Lee of Inchy Arts. Very nice to meet you here. I love Inchies and your Twinchies. I love using your products. showing me how I can mail these without So if you're going to mail some of the more delicate ones, you just make a cardboard ring and um, put it around the flower portion and okay. then stick it in the envelope. And that works well with, with um, you know, some of the different ones. You can also put them into a, a bubble envelope. Um, but this, this is, works really good. You have to pay extra for the thickness of the envelope, but, yeah. but this will keep them so they don't squish. Okay, thank you. Great tip. And how many of these punch-in books have you made? Just two.
card we're doing today. A little purse card. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what you have to do is you have to use fabric ribbon. Right on each oh, I'm being filmed. Side on the corner. Oh, I'm getting um, your hands. Okay, good, good. Face. Oh, yeah, my nice hands with the glue all over them. <laughs> um, anyway, so you need fabric ribbon. The reason why you use fabric ribbon is because the paper you have to be able to manipulate it. Okay, and if you can't manipulate it, the paper stuff snaps in half. And um, the wire stuff just lays flat, and you can pull the wire out, but you've already, you know, paid the extra money for the wire and stuff. So just go this one. And you take some fabric glue, you take fabric glue, and, ta and uh, ultimate glue. Fabric glue to put it together because it doesn't stain the fabric. Ultimate glue is a paper glue. It will stain the fabric, so you use it to put it onto the card. Okay, you take a line of fabric glue, and you don't need a lot, and you put it across the center like that. Okay, and then you just close it. Then you take another dab of fabric glue and you put it in the middle and you pinch it. And that gives it the little poof. Okay, and then take it and pin it on a cork board. Well, I put the glue on the front. And just poof it up a little bit and let it dry for just a This is Stephanie Dawson with Dawson Designs. Um, this was a fun day. I went to the Puyallup Fairgrounds for the Heirloom Productions Puyallup Rubber Stamp and Paper Arts Festival. I'm reading that because it's a long name and I couldn't remember. I uh, had a fun time. So anyway, thanks for stopping by to visit my video and read my blog and have a great day.